The dark truth behind this scary Roblox image. You may have gone through Roblox and seen some creepy and disturbing images while scrolling through the different Roblox games. And while some may be harmless Photoshop edits, there's actually some that hold a dark and creepy past. I'm going to take a look at some of the most scariest images found on Roblox and try to find out where they came from, starting with this one right here. Now, I'd always thought that this was like a Photoshop version of like the Grudge Kid. Um, equally terrifying. Just gonna just gonna close out of this tab. Um, a lot of people also say that he looks like this character from this manga by Junji Ito. So where did this image come from? This face is actually from a video game known as The Death Forest, which is like a Japanese PC horror game where you're being chased by different monsters. Oh yeah, there, <laughs> there it is. While there's different monsters in the game, one of the more notable and creepy ones is this one right here, Yoshi. Yeah, that's their name. And apparently they're also Nico's next bot's character. What's this? Proximity audio. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, jump scare audio. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Yoshi resembles a pale, white-skinned Asian woman with short black hair. She has large eyes and an unnaturally wide smile. Guys, look at the way she looks. That's, <laughs> that's creepy. I'm gonna have nightmares after this. Um, but Death Forest was so popular that they even made two movies based off of it. Like, just look at how freaky this is. <laughs> Ew, look, yeah, look at the face. Oh yeah, I don't I don't like this. <laughs> go, go, go away now. But where did the face itself actually come from? Is this actually a Photoshop image from The Grudge? Or is this something far more sinister? It's actually the creator of the game's face. Face. I found out through this YouTube video where the creator of the game was actually interviewed. This is what they said. Yoshi is actually his own face photoshopped. Yeah, yeah. And he said he was inspired by all of the scary images you can see on the internet. Oh, but yeah, there's a lot of scary images that are similarly horrifying as that one. But now we move on to another familiar figure that's seen all throughout Roblox. And it's this creature right here. And it's pretty much this grinning man that looks like he's staring into your soul. And he's got, uh, he's actually got some nice teeth. <laughs> um, and I've talked about him before. I used to think that he originated from this TikTok video right here. It's a wife that thinks that there's somebody in the hallway. And then this creepy man just pops out. <laughs> Pretty scary, actually. I thought that this is where it came from, but that's actually not the case. So he's actually known as the Grinning Man, and he's got his own creepypasta made back in either 2014 or 2016. There's a lot of different creepypastas with the same name, but a lot of the creepypastas use this same exact face. And where does this face originate from? Well, it's from this website called The World's Largest Dinosaur. <laughs> and uh, I'm not making that up. It's actually true. So uh, this is how the website used to look like back in 2004. References how it looks like now and it's pretty much a website just promoting this giant dinosaur statue um but in the fun stuff section of the website there's a photo titled a prime example of too much time at the world's largest dinosaur and this is the image right here this is the grinning man see he's got the same exact pearly white teeth and uh really creepy disturbing looking eyes <laughs> and so the image was posted on 4chan back in 2004 and a lot of people just started memeing this image putting his face on a lot of different things <laughs> I, li I like this one here you know what else is scary? Your ugly, boring-looking web browser. But you can actually change that by using Opera GX, the sponsor of this video. With Opera GX, you can improve the way your web browser looks to make it uniquely your own. Want to go for an arcade-style look? They got that. You want to hear fart noises every time you type on your keyboard? Uh, yeah, they, they got that too. Yet, yeah, you could choose different mods for your browser. Like, for example, there's this one here called Blocks, where you're also able to toggle between dark mode and light mode. This mod also includes music for when you're browsing across the web, and you can pause and play it at any given moment. Not only that, but even things like closing or opening tabs now have a unique sound and same goes for whenever you're typing again this is just one of thousands of mods available for opera gx not only that but opera gx also has ai integrated into its software which is easily accessible at any point in the sidebar why don't you summarize a long boring article it could do that why don't you do your math homework for you but uh, yeah it could, it could do that too and i know moving over your browsing history bookmarks and cookies from your other web browser can be annoying but you can easily import that over to opera gx by simply clicking on the gear icon scroll to synchronization import bookmarks and settings and then finally pressing import and yes Opera GX is entirely free. Link is in the description down below. Thank you, Opera GX, for sponsoring this video. So going back to the Grinning Man photo and how the image originated in 2004, in 2008, someone else on 4chan posted the picture of them meeting the guy at a Comic-Con Expo. And uh, yeah, here he is doing the same exact disturbing face. Um, and then I guess at some point, throughout all the memes of his face, I guess they just made like the scary horror version of it. Here, I'll see if I can recreate it. If I give him like a blue hue, I'll put some exposure on him. I mean, I made something, but it's uh, it's somewhat similar to this thing. <laughs> I think it's interesting how such a simple image from 2004 can evolve from this normal looking picture into this horrifying image right here. But now we move on to this scary image right here. It's a kid sitting with a horrifying looking Easter bunny. <laughs> Look at its eye, it's all demented looking. Uh, but what's crazy is that that's not the only creepy looking Easter bunny picture. There's actually a lot of what seems to be harmless looking pictures with just terrifying bunny costumes. And this dates back to like the olden times. There's this one here. I, I don't know, it just looks demented looking. <laughs> there's a... There's this one here as well. That boy looks nervous and wants to dip out of there. Uh, these kids are just crying at this point. This bunny needs to go to jail over here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't I don't like this. And then this one, you can literally just see his face poking out of the mouth. He's playing peekaboo. So what's with all these images? Why are they all horrifying? Well, I think it's because back in the day, they were barely experimenting with photography and what makes a cute bunny costume. Oh, uh, it kind of reminds me of like these types of photos here where it's like a baby, but then behind it, it looks like a dark figure is about to like eat it or something. <laughs> but that's not the only one. There's this one here too. And uh, same with this one. It looks like a chair, but uh, there's a hand right there. And that baby is resting its head on a person's leg. Um, These pictures were known as the hidden mothers of family photos. The reason why the mom's hidden is because cameras required long exposure times, which meant that young children need to be kept still for considerable periods of time. And so photographers enlisted the mothers as little supports, camouflaging them in sheets and drapes so that they could prop up their offspring inconspicuously. But uh, it just ended up looking horrifying at the end. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you have actually seen this image around Roblox. It's in a lot of different horror games and used as jump scares a lot. Uh, it's made me cry a few times. But uh, yeah, it looks like some sort of creature that's popping out from the abyss, just looking directly at your soul like it's going to eat all your fingers or something. Um, and so the way I found this one is I actually just reversed imaged it. So I put it on Google Images, slapped it on there, and I pretty much found out that he's an entity from the back rooms known as 832, otherwise known as Pinhead, was made by this YouTuber known as Brugly. I want to talk to you about a backrooms entity that I just came up with called Entity 832. Um, and he's also a creature in Nico's next spot. Proximity audio. What is, what is this? Oh, I don't... <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna stop that there. Jump scare audio, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, I'm alone. But so while Brugley released this video back in May 9th of 2022, I actually found the original artist of this creature who he posted two years ago, so 2021, and it's uh, it's this image right here. So you see more of the body. It looks like he's got Luffy's chest scar. Um, and I'm not sure what the bottom there is. That's supposed to be his like grippers or something. But uh, yeah, you can see it's equally as horrifying. And as for the creator of this image, it actually belongs to this person, Ashveep, who posted on the Trevor Henderson Reddit page. And if you don't know who Trevor Henderson is, he's a creator of a lot of different horror monsters, such as Siren Head or Long Neck Horse. But uh, yeah, Ashveep has created a lot of different horror monsters as well. He also made this one, The Real Lemon Demon. Oh, that's the, that's the guy from Adventure Time. <laughs> All right, but this next image is one that just comes out of my nightmares. It's a pretty popular one on Roblox. It's called Frown. And uh, the game itself actually has a good amount of visits, but it's the image itself that leads a disturbing feeling towards the player. And uh, that's because this image has a pretty dark backstory. So looking around online, I found that this image was used in this creepypasta known as Tomino's Hell, which is a popular Japanese story about a poem that you should only read it with your mind and never out loud. If you're to read it out loud, then you must take responsibility for your actions. So uh, yeah, I guess like you'll be cursed or something like that. And this poem is actually really popular. It has a lot of articles about it. It says the cursed Japanese poem you shouldn't read out loud. I should probably be careful with what I read. Apparently a girl is said to have died a few moments after reading the poem out loud. But this Tomino's Hell story isn't new at all. This whole legend was actually popular back in the 1980s, where in Japan, there's a trend of filming friends who were intent on reading the poem out loud. The trend became popular and reportedly there was no consequences to reading it out loud most of the time. Uh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for some people. The curse strikes at random. Today in Japan, even the elderly and wise will not mention of the poem out of fear that it will curse them. Oh, really? Is that, is that really a thing? And, uh, yeah, I read a little bit of the poem. It's actually created by this guy, Yasuo, who was born in 1892 and lived all the way to 1970. So, uh, yeah, this poem is actually really old. But going back to the picture, where did it come from and who painted it? Well, the painting's actually made by an artist known as Yuko Tatsushima. When she painted this artwork, and it got really popular. Uh, this is a full image right here. But yeah, the painting itself is titled something along the lines of I can no longer become a bride. The painting has actually always been really popular because she used to actually have this website back in 2009, which as you can see, a lot of these panels have the creepy painting here. And a lot of her art is actually really fascinating, but it's also still very creepy. So maybe even creepier than that famous one over there. I imagine this image was linked to the Tomino's Hell poem through the creepy pasta, but uh, that's just a running theory. If you guys find any creepy images on Roblox, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to find out the origin behind them. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.